Hey everybody, Bally here again with another video. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, the golf, and the Super Bowl, and a bit of rugby actually also. Um, the tournament yesterday, the Phoenix Open, was won by Scotty Scheffler. And uh, a direct connection to the Super Bowl, by the way, also. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, Scotty Scheffler, he went to Highland Park High School, which is in uh, Texas. And also Matt Stafford from... Uh, the LA Rams also went to the same high school, Highland Park High School. So again, Stafford connects to the golf. A few weeks ago, if you remember, it was uh, Hudson Swafford when he won, and Matt Stafford had beaten the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers that day, beaten Brady. And now again, Stafford connects to the golf with uh, going to Highland Park High School, just like Scotty Scheffler, who won the Phoenix Open uh, yesterday. Um, also, um, the last win Scotty Scheffler had before yesterday was August 18th, 2019, right here. And um, if you count the days from that, it was 911 days, counting the end date. Uh, 911 days from August 18th, Scotty Scheffler's last win until yesterday, the Super Bowl Sunday, uh, 911 days. Now, uh, 911 was a big number in the Super Bowl yesterday. For a number of reasons. I'll start with this one. Cooper Cup, he was the Super Bowl MVP yesterday. And uh, his birthday is the 15th of June, 1993. He was born the 15th of June, 1 5 slash 6. Like we write it all uh, different parts of the world differently, but if you write it 15 slash 6, 1 5 6, 1 5 6 is the nine, uh, one, the 156th prime is 9 11. Just like the amount of days it was since Scotty Scheffler's last win. And also 15 slash 6 was Cooper Cup's birthday. And also it was the Rams 911th game uh, in the Super Bowl era yesterday. And if you add 471 and 432 and 8, just like here, it's 911. So a big 911 number uh, in the Super Bowl yesterday with the Super Bowl MVP and the Rams, and Scotty Scheffler in the golf, just like all sports, as I said before, they all connect together, and uh, there's certainly proof of it on my videos here anyway, and the other guys that do it as well. Uh, let's talk a bit about, about, about the rugby over the weekend, the Six Nations, which is going on right now. It's a big tournament here in Europe, and uh, Ireland lost to France on Saturday. Now, the date on Saturday was 12-2, the 12th of February, which is a big number with the Pope. Uh, Pope Francis, as we know, is 1-2-2. Two, two. And, uh, of course, France sounds like Francis also. But uh, uh, it was France's uh, 59th win against Ireland on Saturday. They also had their 35th win at home. Uh, 35th Catholic equals 35. And also Pope Francis is 59 and Ireland stayed on 35 ones also, which is Catholic. And uh, let's go to the gematria here, just like I said. As I said, with the date, like Pope Francis, 122 and 59. They got their 59th win, and uh, they got their 35th at home. So there's the uh, gematria on that. And the Six Nations rugby seems to be very easy to decode. Uh, that's two weeks in a row now. We had, uh, uh, last week, I had... Um, the both winners last week, but the odds weren't great on them, so I didn't really post them. But uh, I'm going to be keeping an eye on the Six Nations from now on. Uh, anyway, uh, guys, that's the video. This week, the golf is uh, going to end on 2-20-22. Uh, a lot of twos this weekend. And uh, Conor Morikawa usually does well in these tournaments with the 2-2-2. He won the PGA on the 222nd day of the year. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on him and a few others as well anyway guys that's the video please like share and subscribe and uh i'll talk to you guys later